Collagen is often regarded as the fountain of youth in skincare because it's the main component of connective tissue and it's one of the most abundant fibrous proteins found in the bones, muscles, tendons, and the skin. Those known to have what's known as glass skin have great collagen production that has great tensile strength and along with soft carotene responsible for giving skin the strength elasticity, and most importantly, the healthy glow we all want. But how do we boost collagen to get glass skin? How can we increase our collagen production? These are great questions, and in this video, I'll be addressing what my thoughts are on collagen supplements, whether they are necessary, two of my favorite products you should be using daily if you want healthier collagen, and one mineral in the end of the video that is not vitamin C, that I encourage you to watch till the end to find out because if you're deficient in it, it can be costing you big time if you're looking for that glass skin. Hi guys, you've seen Arsalan Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. This channel is all about helping you make more informed decisions about your health and wellness. And if that's something you're into, take two seconds now to give this video a like to support my channel and subscribe down below to not miss out on future videos. But really giving it a like is more than enough to make my day. You see, our collagen peaks when we get around 25 to 34 years old before it starts to naturally decrease due to age, causing thinning skin, losing elasticity, and wrinkles. So it's really important that we prevent the acceleration of this loss with lifestyle factors. And if I were to pick two major culprits of this, it's excess sugar and refined carbohydrates, given that sugar interferes with collagen's ability to repair itself, and smoking, given smoking directly lowers collagen production. So controlling these two factors is what's going to make the rest of these tips flow more effectively. But before I get to them, what are my thoughts on collagen supplements? I made a video on this a while back that goes into depth that I recommend you watching after this video. But to sum it up, Dr. Vicky Dondos, the aesthetic doctor in her book, The Positive Aging Plan, she says she's not 100% convinced that whether the collagen you ingest leads to more collagen in the skin because a number of things happen to collagen once it reaches the stomach. And digging into this further, I found one randomized double-blind placebo study showing that after eight weeks of taking collagen, users saw an experience increased skin moisture, and after 12 weeks, saw decreased collagen disintegration. So the results are variable and more research is needed on ingesting the collagen, but what about topical ways to boost collagen? And this is where I lean more towards. The first of them being niacinamide, which I have a video here and I highly recommend that you watch it. Niacinamide, otherwise known as vitamin B3 in 5% concentration is widely used as an anti-aging agent for glass skin. It's known that niacinamide increases dermal collagen production and slows the bonding of glucose and proteins in the skin that lead to cross-linked molecules such as cross-linked collagen. Cross-linked collagen molecules are stiff and rigid and therefore reduce the skin's elasticity. This is a problem that niacinamide solves because it increases the skin elasticity instead. Now, niacinamide also reduces facial sebum production, making it a valuable ingredient to rejuvenating the skin back to normal. I left my favorite niacinamide product down below in the description, so definitely check the description below to check it out. The second product is clearly vitamin C serum. Now, vitamin C in general is a powerful booster of collagen, so in addition to vitamin C topical serums, make sure you're getting enough vitamin C in your diet because without vitamin C, you aren't going to have healthy collagen. It's that simple. Without vitamin C, you won't have healthy collagen. So much so that the Royal Navy made sure that all sailors had lemon juice to drink when they were at sea for longer than one month because the vitamin C in lemons not only prevented but cured scurvy which is a disease associated with collagen degradation that can happen when you're out and see for long periods of time. And the first signs being visual blemishes on the skin. But how's that connection possible? Well, vitamin C plays a critical role in maintaining normal mature collagen networks in humans by preventing the auto inactivation of lysyl and proline hydroxylase, which are the two enzymes 
in collagen biosynthesis. And that time that was not known and eventually doctors thought that lime juice would work better because it has more acid than lemon juice. So they substituted lime juice for lemon juice on the English Royal Navy ships and it worked. Now, we know that there are even higher concentrations of vitamin C out there, so don't neglect those guavas, kiwi fruit, and bell peppers as they are some of the highest sources of vitamin C. But as far as topical vitamin C goes in the form of L-ascorbic acid with concentrations between 5 and 15%, this is the level proven to have an anti-aging effect by inducing enzymes important for the production of collagen. And you see how it all goes back to collagen? And I've also linked down below my favorite vitamin C serum I recommend for boosting that collagen, so check that description down below. In fact, if you can find a product that combines vitamin C serum and niacinamide in an effective way, you can make your life easier and save time in the morning, and that's what you can find with Murad's Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum that you use under your sunscreen that works wonders. Not sponsored, but I think its formulation is worth a try to start the process of boosting collagen as it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of dark spots, age spots, and hyperpigmentation in one week. Also guys, if you are enjoying this video, tap the like button down below. Now let's get back to the video. Let's talk about that mineral that I think is crucial for boosting collagen, and that is copper. Most people don't know that copper is actually an essential mineral in collagen production and it's required for the formation of red blood cells, bone, and connective tissue. Copper activates lysyl oxidase, the enzyme required for collagen maturation, which helps to form the fibers that support your tissues. And many people do not get enough copper in their diet. And some signs of copper deficiency are feeling fatigue, anemia, thyroid problems, loss of pigmentation in the skin, bone fractures and osteoporosis to name a few. And the highest traces of copper can be found in liver meats and oysters. But if you don't do meat, you can also find lots of copper in shiitake mushrooms, spirulina, and of course your leafy green vegetables you should not be neglecting. So don't underestimate copper for boosting collagen and getting that glass skin that you are seeking. I really hope that this video was helpful. Give it a like so I know you enjoy the video. This tells YouTube to show this video to more people. Subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on to stay updated with all future videos. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.